you may be seated for a while. I greet you all in the mighty and powerful name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and our Savior, our soon coming King. Greetings to those that are viewing by Facebook Live. I greet you all in the mighty name of Jesus. You are at the right place at the right time and I know that you are going to be blessed as you tune in, as you join in. Hit that share button and share this arima word with somebody tonight. Clap your hands and magnify the name of the Lord. Greetings to everyone that is here at Mami Bay Restoration and Divine Word Ministry. Put your hands together for the Lord. Put your hands together for the Lord. We are still in the house of the Lord. And this is a place where worship comes alive. Clap your hands and magnify the name of the Lord. Clap your hands and glorify the name of the Lord. To God be the glory. Great things He has done. Tonight I want to bring the word to you from the book of St. Matthew chapter 24 from verse 1 through to verse 14. That is the book of St. Matthew chapter 24 from verse 1 through to verse 14. I repeat the book of St. Matthew chapter 24 from verse 1 through to 24. And I'll ask each and every one to stand in reverence for the reading of God, holy word. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to God. And Jesus went out and departed from the temple. His disciple came to him for his disciple came, his disciple came to him for to show him the buildings of the temple. And Jesus said unto them, See ye not all these things? Verily I say unto you, There shall not be left here one stone upon another. Somebody said, upon another. That shall not be turned down, thrown down. Hallelujah, hallelujah. And as he sat upon the mountain of Olive, the disciple came unto him privately. Somebody said privately. Privately. Saying, let us, my God Almighty, when shall these things be? And what shall be the signs of thy coming and of the end of the world? And Jesus answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you, for many shall come in my name, saying, I am a Christ, and shall deceive many, and he shall hear of wars and rumors of war. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines and pestilence and earthquake. Hallelujah! Shall we bless the name of the Lord in diverse places? All these are the beginning of sorrow. Then shall that the then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted and shall kill you, and ye shall be hated of all nation for my names say shall we bless the name of the Lord and then shall many be offered then shall many be offended and shall betray one another and shall hate one another and many false prophets shall and many false prophets shall arise and shall deceive many and because iniquity shall abound the love of many shall wax cold my God Almighty, but he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. Somebody says, shall be saved. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached into all the world for a witness unto all nations. And then shall the end come. Somebody clap your hands and magnify the name of the Lord. Most righteous and eternal God, we give you thanks, Almighty God, tonight 
for the reading of your holy word, Almighty God. I pray, God, that as your word is about to go forth, I pray, God, that your word will go forth with power and with clarity. I pray, God, that your anointing will sit upon me, the anointing which breaks the yoke and set the captive free. I pray, God, that everyone under the ear of my voice will be blessed by your word. Oh, God, as your word is from before the beginning, I pray, God, that you will give me the option to function. Oh, God, I pray that your Holy Spirit will transform my body will transform my mind in the mighty name of Jesus God I pray right now almighty God that self will be slain you will arise and speak to me in the name of in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth somebody clap your hands and give him praise somebody clap your hands and give him praise somebody clap your hands and give him praise Clap your hands and magnify the name of the Lord, man. Clap your hands and worship the name of the Lord. Walk around in the house of the Lord and give Him praise, man. Walk around in the house of the Lord and magnify His name. Walk around and give Him praise in His house. Hallelujah, we worship and we bless and we praise the name of the Lord. So the Bible declared that Jesus Christ and His disciples, they were having a fellowship. I believe that they were out there doing some ministry. So they were out there ministering unto people. My God Almighty. And while they were ministering unto people, the Bible declared that they take Jesus privately. They take him one side and started to question him and say, Jesus Christ, how shall I know? Rabbi Shaddai, about the signs of the end time. I believe Jesus Christ say unto them that these are the things that will take place. Put your neighbor and say, neighbor, get ready. Say, neighbor, get ready. Somebody, I want you to know that you need to get ready before the time runs out. Put your neighbor and say, neighbor, get ready for the time. Can I preach here? So the Bible allows us to know, Sister Brown, that Jesus Christ's disciples and Jesus Christ start to have a one-to-one. -one. Somebody say one-to-one. -one. They start to have a private conversation. Somebody say private conversation. They start to reason. What a good thing to reason with the Lord. start to talk with Jesus and say Jesus from the barn make ready from the barn my mother tell me that there is going to be an end time I believe there's a Jesus I want you to tell me what I should expect in the end time somebody touch me about say I say you need to get 
and rumors of wars. The Bible declares that nations shall rise against nation. He never had time. We see nation. A fight against nation. He's now. Can I preach here? American. He's against Jamaican. China. He's against the Indian. Can I preach here? Black man. He's against the white man. Can I preach here? Somebody lift your hands and say, get ready. to know if it is really serious as how they talk about it. I want to know if it is the truth they are talking. I want to know if it is just a story which they make up and, and I try to deceive me. But Jesus Christ was allowing them to know that this is real. Somebody said this is real. Somebody said this is real. 
Somebody said, this is real. <laughs> my God Almighty, so Jesus Christ was allowing them also to know that you will be beheaded. You will be killed for the gospel of Jesus Christ. He was allowing them also to know that people are going to hate you. People are going to forsake you. Just from my name. Just from bearing the cross. He was allowing them to know also that these are some of the things. These are some of the, 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 the obstacles which the devil might put in your way. These are some of the things that is going to take place. He also says that a lot of false prophets shall arise. A lot of false prophets shall arise in the land. Can I preach here? Can I preach? My God Almighty. So a lot of false prophets shall arise in the land. The verse that I like is verse 14. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations. And then shall the end come. My God Almighty, so the word of God is allowing us to know that this is the final thing that is going to take place. The gospel is going to be preached into all the world. Put your name out, your name full stop. The gospel is going to preach into all the world and to all nations as a witness. So you now go can say, you never hear the gospel. The Chinese man now go can say, he never hear about Jesus. The Indian now go can say, he never hear about Jesus. The black man now go can say, he never hear about Jesus. The white man now go can say, he never hear about Jesus, but this gospel of Jesus Christ shall be preached unto our nation, unto our kingdom, unto our tongue. Can I preach here? To so tell you say neighbor, get ready, get ready, get ready, for time is running out. Come on, walk around and find somebody. Yeah. <laughs> 
year They make sure everything ready But nobody not make preparation For them soon But too late Will you cry? Too late Will you cry? My God Almighty Put your name out to neighbor Get ready For time It's running out What is time? Time is the operation or the time span of the clock. My God Almighty. But when God created the world, there was no time that was in existence. Uh, my God Almighty. The Bible declared uh, that God said on the seventh day, on the seventh day, it didn't tell a particular hour. It didn't say a particular time. But it said on the seventh day, God rested of the created, all the generation of the created, all the animals, the kittens, and all living things. He rested. Uh, but when we look deeply into the text, uh, we realize that man was not living in time uh, until sin come into existence. Uh, because the Bible declares uh, that man was, was used to fellowship with God. Uh, so for somebody to fellowship with God, uh, they can't dwell in time. Because the Bible declares uh, that, that God would walk into the garden and he would have a communication. He would have a relationship with Adam. He would speak to Adam. So there was no time he existed. Because the Marcus, can I preach here? Can I preach here? So there was no time in existence from, from, from man to be shame. Time up to be in existence. So that is why Jesus Christ can say to his disciples that this is what is going to take place in the end of time. Somebody say time. Somebody say time. Is what is going to take place in the end of time. So Jesus was allowing his disciples to know that these are the some of these are the, the, the signs, the signs of the end of time. What is the end of time? The end of time is when the world is going to come to an end. As the Bible declares, heaven and earth shall pass away, but not one dot. Not one small amount of the word of Jesus Christ shall pass away. Somebody clap your hands and worship the name of the Lord. Clap your hands and worship the name of the Lord. I said we make preparation for everything. We make preparation to go to work. We get up and we look at the clock and we say, no, no, it's, it's six o'clock and I must reach work by eight o'clock. So I got to get my, my clothes pressed. I got to get ironing. I got to make some preparation uh, to get to work. But nobody making any preparation to see God. Nobody care about God. Nobody making any preparation to see God. The maker, but the Bible tells us that after they come the judgment, the question I want to propose tonight: Where will you spend your Where will you spend your eternity if you don't make any preparation for your soul? Everybody make preparation for their body to be well taken care of. You go to the bathroom and get a nice proper shower. You put on your makeup for the ladies. You put on your robe on. And, and, and then you put on your clothes. If it needs to be pressed, you press your clothes. My God Almighty, my God Almighty. If your clothes need to be pressed, you go ahead and, and you get the iron and you press your clothes. Because you're making preparation uh, to allow yourself to be totally ready to go wherever you are going uh, but I want to implore you tonight my brothers and sisters let us get ready for time is running out somebody lift up your hand and shout it let us get ready for time is running out this is not a joke thing this is a serious thing I said time is running out I said time is running out the Bible declares that the devil knows that he has but a short 
So the devil is doing everything to deceive people, to keep them in deception, to keep them locked down in the anti-illusion world, to deceive their mind about the Jesus Christ is not coming. If you talk to somebody on the road right now, they will say Jesus Christ is not coming as yet because from a born until now, I, I, I've never seen uh, what is taking place, but it's because they're not reading their Bible. Because the Bible tells us that these are the signs of the time. This is what is going to take place. Somebody said, get ready. But time is running out. My God Almighty. So, so, the, so they cannot know the signs of the time because they're not spending any time with it. Their Bible. Uh, some of them would say, from a bond, the here is a God that come. And I know they can't see. I know they can't see. My God Almighty. But I want to tell you that whether you believe it or not, you know, change the word from the Bible. Mark a shot. Whatever the Bible say, and that God mean. Whatever the Bible declare, and that God mean. Can I preach here? Somebody go to the box and Get ready for time. He's running out. Say neighbor. Get ready for time. He's running out. My God Almighty, if you ask someone left on this on the road, they will question and say, From me born until now, my ears are God I come. I know me can't see God. But it is, it is more serious than they could think or even imagine. Because the Bible said the gospel must be preached into all the world. And the gospel has been preached, it's been preached, and it's going to be preached into all the world. And then the end shall come, the end of time, the end of age. John said, John, ah, John, somebody said, John, John said, I saw. A new heaven and a new her coming down. Jesus Christ, our Lord, declare that if I go to prepare a place, and if I go to prepare a place, then will I come and receive you into my bosom, that where I am, ye may be also. Clap your hands and magnify the name of the Lord. Clap your hands and give Him praise. Clap your hands and toad our Him. Clap your hands and shabbat Him. Clap your hands and worship Him. Clap your hands and give Him praise. Clap your hands and magnify His name. Let us get ready. For time is running old. Time is shorter than we think. Time is way, way shorter that we think all we could expect time is short and we need to get ready for time is right now glory to God clap your hands and magnify the name of the Lord clap your hands and magnify the name of the Lord glory to God glory to God glory clap your hands and magnify the name of the Lord clap your hands and bless the name of the Lord Clap your hands, man, and magnify the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Clap your hands and worship the name of the Lord, man. Stand to your feet and give Him praise. Stand to your feet and give Him worship. Stand to your feet and magnify His name. Stand to your feet and give Him worship. Glory to God. Glory to God. Let us get ready for time.